Hey guys, so I want to show you how to use Zapier's code block. And when you're using Zapier, normally either data is coming in or you're going out to get data. So if it's coming in, a lot of times there'll be a form submission and it'll come in and you'll do some stuff to it, right? Or in this case, we're going to go out, we're going to send a get request, get some information, some data, but then we want to mess with it. We want to filter it out a little. And there's some tricks to how to do this, some difficult parts. So let's walk through this. So I've set up just my database is just this Webflow project, and we're going to be working with these authors. And I've set it up and I've got all this dummy data and we are going to work with their emails. And I've got this email checkbox and their name way up here. And here's a scenario I'm thinking about. So let's say we want to go out once a week and we want to see if we've emailed these people. And if we haven't, then email them. Okay, so this would involve going out and sending a get request, which I have set up right here, and getting the data, but and then filtering out to check to see if this emailed check thingy, whatever, is is checked. And if it's not, then we send an email. Okay, so that's that's how we're going to work on this. So um, this is just how I'm going to trigger it later. We've got our get request set up. That's all great. And then we're going to send an email over here. And in the middle is where we're going to do our work. And we're going to do our work with the code by Zapier. Now, this this can be a little bit tricky. So we're going to run some JavaScript. And this is what we get when we open it up. We got this input data thing and we got this code block with some junk in here and it's a little bit confusing. So what happens is the data comes in here and Zapier dumps it into this input data. Okay. And then when it comes out, you, you do some whatever you're going to do here and then it has to come out like this, okay, like a uh, an array with an object inside, okay? So um, you can have an array uh, with an object inside or you can just have, uh, or you can have an array with multiple objects inside. Uh, I have another video about that, about looping over multiple items. So, um, and so if you just want that, there's a shorter version of this video I'll link up. But um, when the data gets dumped in here, then the next thing you have to do is you've got to map it. Okay, so I'm running and getting all of my CMS items in this author, you know, database right here. So I got these three things coming in, but they've got all this information, pictures, bio summaries, bio, right? And um, so I have to I have to to map it in some way because I don't want all the data. I just want some data. And I'm going to work with three things. I'm going to work with the email, the names, and the um and the that email like checkbox thingy, the the little radio button. And so let's map these. So the first thing that you do is you just write a name. So let's say like emails. And this can be anything. This is whatever you're going to use that in your code. So it's whatever is semantic and makes sense. And that's going to get mapped to show all items. It's going to get mapped to our emails, which are where? Emails, which are right here. Okay, great. And we're going to do our names and our names are right there. And we're going to use that emailed, whether we've emailed them yet. And that is going to be, let's see, emailed right here. Now, um, okay, so we got all these things mapped. So let's just look at this. Let's just look at this variable for a second here. So we're going to console.log this input data so we can just see it. Okay, so I've run this thing right here and we can see here this is what we get from that input variable. So let's just make this pretty for a second so we can see here. Okay, so that input, after we've mapped it, we've got our emails names and email three properties and each is a string okay now um let's go back here and so we've got all of our data mapped 
Uh, but there's one problem because to be able to do something to filter through this, we can't filter through it if it's just a long string. So we got to take these strings and turn them into something we can loop over like object or an array. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn it into an array. And so how we do that is we just say, let emails equal input data. That's our thing. And to access each thing, we just do it because it's just an object. We just do it with dot emails and we're going to say split and we're going to split on the comma. So if you don't know this uh, array method, a split just takes uh, whatever you throw into it here, a comma, and it's going to put each one of these into an array. And so I'll show you what this looks like after. So now let's console.log emails. Okay, so now what we're seeing, and remember this, we're, we're looking at the, the emails thing. We've got an array with each of the emails as an item, okay? So now let's just do that with the rest of the data that's coming in. Okay, great. So now we've got our three things and let's just take a look at that. Emails, emailed and names. And so they should all be in an array now. Uh, one tricky thing for um, Zapier is that some, when you see this green thing, sometimes you think that, oh, I, it just ran it when I went to this next step, but you always have to press retest and review. Okay, so great. So we've got uh, one array here. Uh, next array here of those things that look like Boolean values. They're not. We'll come back to that in a second. And then our names. Okay, this is great. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to set up. Uh, we're going to get rid of this because we don't want that. And we're actually going to get rid of all of this. Now, notice that this is uh, an object inside an array. Just remember that. So output here. We're going to make another one. We're just not going to make an object where we're going to throw everything and we're going to throw it into here because what and then we're going to take this and we're going to set it equal to this at the end. So Zapier is waiting for output. You can also return if you want, uh, but let's just leave it like this. Um, it's going to want to see this, but I'm going to want to throw a bunch of things in here and um, this has not been declared till the end and I'm not sure how hoisting is, is managed. Um, so I just set it up here and then I set that equal at the end. I think that's an easy way to do it. Okay, so now I've got that and now comes the work. So right up till now, we've just like set up our data so we're ready to use it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to loop through and we just want to see if they've been emailed yet, right? So we're just going to set up a simple for loop. Okay, so there's our for loop. So we're just looping through. We're looking at each one of the of the of these items that come then. We these email items. Okay, they're all the same length. Remember arrays, so it doesn't matter how you count that. Okay, so now I want to check and I want to say if emailed i. So this is whatever one in the loop. If it equals triple equals false. That is, if I haven't emailed them, so I've set just these two, uh, Melissa and Maya, as false down here. So those are off. So that's actually what we're looking for. If these are false, then we're going to do something. Okay. So, um, well, what are we going to do? So one quick thing, and this is a kind of gotcha right here, is that... Um, these look like Boolean values, but they've been stringified by Zapier. So you actually have to check for the string, not for the Boolean value. All right. So if it's false, what do we want to do? Well, we want to add it into our object because that's the thing that we're going to pass along for Gmail to do it. 
So let's pass this along. So we're gonna say let person equal an object. Um, oh yeah, one other thing here. Because we wanna email multiple people, we are going to have to, for each person, we are going to have to have their own object with their name and whatever data we want, their email. Because what, um, what Zapier is gonna do is it's gonna run this action for each object inside that array. So remember, if we have, uh, um, we, have an, we return an array here, and if there's multiple objects, whatever our next step is, is gonna do that for each. So what, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna have, you know, uh, person one is gonna be emailed here with their data, and person two with their data, and it's gonna do this multiple times. So that's what we're writing for right now. So when it's false, we want to create an object and we're just gonna use their name so we can see that we can do personalization and we're gonna have their email and their emails are going to be emails I, whatever email we're looking at right now. Okay, great. And then after that, we are just gonna take that person and we are going to object dot push that on and we're gonna push the person we just created. So we're just, for each one of these, we're creating this, uh, let's close that up. We're creating this object with these properties, name property, email property. And so we've got this nice object here and then we're pushing that onto this array. So first time we'll push one object, second time we'll push our second object until we're all done, okay? So let's look at that after we're done. So let's console.log our OBJ. Oh, name is not defined. So let's see what our problem is here. Names, uh, I didn't put an S there. Okay, test and review, wonderful. Oh, beautiful, look at this. So we got one object right here and another object. Let's just throw this into our beautifier so we can see the beauty of these. Beautiful, so we've got two objects right here and one for Melissa and one for Maya. We've got our emails, we're all set to go. Okay, so when we come in here, we're gonna create our email now. So what do we want? We are gonna run our JavaScript and now here's the next gotcha. It's, you're only gonna see the first one, but it's actually going to send it to all of them, okay? So don't get, don't get slipped up and when you only, only see one here, it's actually gonna send it to all of them. All right, so we throw the name in. Let's do the personalization here. So we'll run and we'll say name right there. And body, we got blur again. Great, we're gonna continue. And test and review. And it was great, so let's look in here. We got one for Melissa with her personalization. And we got one for no one. Shoot. No, so this is the last gotcha that until it's turned, when you're using this feature of returning, um, uh, returning um, an array of multiple objects, when you test it, it only tests it on the first, but when you run it, it will run on all of them, okay? So once you actually turn it on and run the zap, then you'll see them in there, okay? So great, so once you actually turn on the zap and run it, it'll run through all of those objects and it'll work beautifully. All right guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. If you've got any questions, leave them below. If you have any um, um, ideas or, or problems that you're having, uh, zaps that you would like to create, um, let me know. I'd love to make a video on it if you're having trouble, all right? Thanks guys.